music covers many different aspects. Um, it can be cross-cultural, cross-generational, it can be emotional, it can be meditational, it can be political. Um, it requires um, interpersonal skills, it requires discipline. It covers just so many different aspects um, that the, the musical journey that, that we are undertaking has all of those factors, but it also has the factor of surfing, surfing the edge of, of the, surfing the present moment, so that in some of the pieces we are reacting to what other people have said in the musical conversation. And so that the music can sometimes end up in places where it's completely different from anywhere that we would have expected it to go. Butkus. Well, Butkus is a, a form of music which has evolved from uh, playing with Chris and Mark and Brenda, um, based around improvisation. Um, but it's also not only there are musical skills, but there are also interpersonal skills involved as well. And so the music has evolved um, between the, the four of us, um, based normally around uh, from a from a simple foundation but then the music can then travel we've got quite a big background of jamming haven't we? Mm. and so you always from the, from early on you're sort of used to listening to other people or, or learning to listen to them because at first when you jam have jam sessions i think with most of us when we get started you're mostly concentrating on what you're doing yourself but as time goes on, you get to learn that, if it, that it works best when you fit in together. And so you start to listen to the other people. And that influences you. You learn things from each other. And, and partly from noticing what they do and thinking, well, that's a good idea. But you also learn because you have to fit in. And so we, we live together, uh, uh, the house being the recording studio. So we've lived together for the last week recording. Um, and uh, so that we've lived and breathed this project, um, uh, the rest of the world has ceased to function. With um, recording this music, we wanted to try to capture it in the best possible way um, so that we needed to get the elements of the musicians being relaxed and comfortable and hearing each other really well um, and also to incorporate te technical excellence as well. start from like in jazz and in, 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 in even in country music you know you'll have a you know pedal steel guitar solo in the middle and then a fiddle solo and then a da 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 but it's still a song that has a beginning and an end and a bit to jam in the middle yeah whereas we don't have any any of that and we're not sure whether it's going to tra we know that it works when we do it together it works for us and it seems to work for a few people because people stop and listen and seem to be enjoying it and whether that's just because they're musicians who are interested to spectate because they're, they're seeing what other musicians are doing, we don't know. But, so, but we're wondering if the general public might like it, you see, and so this recording that we're trying to do now is an experiment to see if that's so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, God.
it was a matter of trying to put my finger on what was wrong. And so after day number two and a half, um, I basically hit the wall. And I've, I've noticed this with quite a number of recording projects as well. There was a wall which you hit, which you need to overcome in order to complete the project. We decided that we would record in the kitchen. And in recording in the kitchen, uh, which is where we have traditionally jammed within this house because kitchens and bathrooms sound good for acoustic instruments. And switching to recording within the kitchen was, the, was overcoming the wall. <laughs> 